Hey guys, this is Grishard from twitch.tv slash Grishard, bringing you some knowledge base information. Let's get to it! Okay, so, as you may know, there are more than one ways to to go about this. If you're using a host like Akla's, this is going to be, this first part's going to be specifically for Akla's. The second part you can do anywhere. I will walk you through how to do it with Akla's, but it will work through anywhere. Just look in the description and you can see how to, how to do it all. Down there, uh, there will be a link to that section. Anyway, here we go. All right, so when you first log into your command center, you're going to see something like this. You see, like, all my servers and stuff here, right? Well, you're going to click up on the left-hand corner. You're going to click Create a Server. And then you're going to go down to Minecraft. Make sure it's regular Minecraft, not Bedrock. Click on Minecraft right there. And then at the very top in the search bar, you're going to type in Forge. And it's going to bring up all this stuff right here. You want to click on this one, the one that says For Advanced Users because we're an advanced user today. And once you click on that, this is gonna come up. Once this comes up, you wanna figure out what version you wanna use. And you see the drop down there in the middle, if you click on it, like all these crazy versions are gonna come up. Make sure whatever mods that are in your mod pack that you wanna use are using the correct version of For uh, Forge. If there's already, if like if it's a mod pack that's already out there, there's a good chance you could just automatically install it with Eklas on that previous screen, uh, type in the search bar back there. But if, if it's not for some reason, make sure that you are using the correct version. Even the sub versions, the like 0.15 and 0.10 and all that stuff is very, very important. Make sure you're using the correct version. Okay, so you're gonna scroll up, scroll down, you're gonna find it, you're gonna click on it. In the friendly address, you're gonna type something somebody else hasn't used, like I use something someone has not used and nobody's used it, so it's cool. You're gonna set your memory, usually, I, there's not a usual number. The mod pack should tell you if you're not sure. You can always start low. If your server crashes, you can increase it. Now click install. On the next page here, we're going to go back to our, our main screen after we make it, and it'll show pending there. And that means that your custom URL usually takes like 5 or 10 minutes until it kicks in. It's not, it's not instantaneous, but it's very quick, right? And that's it, and you're done. If you need to know how to install mods... Look in my description, there will be a link on a video on how to install mods on your Minecraft server. It's going to be a separate video, this video is going to be long enough as it is. Click there, go figure out how to install mods over there. Have a good day, if you're not sticking around for the next part. Okay, so you've decided your day is too easy, you have too much free time, you just need to really spend some extra time doing this so we're going to do it the hard way which is totally fine i mean i did mine this way but we're not going to talk about that and so here we go so you're at your main screen just like before you're going to click create a server up in the corner and when you do that it's going to bring you to this screen you're going to click on minecraft down there just like before once you get there it's going to have a whole list of stuff you're going to just type custom in the top and this is the only option that's going to pop up you're going to click on custom. And once you get there, you're going to see a screen like this. Now, you need to know what version of Minecraft your your pack is going to be. If you're not sure, go check. Go to CurseForge or wherever you're getting your pack from. Go make sure you have the correct version. Okay, good. You got it. Now, see here in the middle how it says Minecraft version and Java version. Those are very important. Uh, down below, it says custom 17.0.1 look up top and match click the click the down arrow and match whatever version you're using so say like we're going to use version 12 for the example just because everybody uses version 12 right so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the java 8 because see at the top how it says 1.7 to 1.12 so we're going to click on java 8 we're going to select that we're going to punch in our custom url it doesn't if you're not going to use it it's fine it doesn't matter but there has to be something in there uh, put how much memory you need. If you're not sure, check the mod pack page. It should give you a pretty good idea. Worst case scenario, you can always come back and, and up, update it later and add more. Click install. Now comes the tricky part. You need to get yourself an FTP program. I use FileZilla. There's a link to, down below in the description. It'll get you there. Install that. And you're going to click on the right-hand side. See how it says manage? You're going to click on the word manage. And it's going to show some bun bunch of information about your server, right? At the very top corner, you're going to click F show FTP info. And this is going to come up. You're going to need the host and the username. 
and I just suggest go ahead and clicking on change password uh, at the very bottom there. Change it to something you're going to remember. I all change my password all the time. I change my FTP password all the time because I always forget it. Change it to something you're going to remember. I'll show you where you can write it in as a comment later so then you don't have to change it all the time. So now we're going to open up FileZilla. It'll look something like this when you open it up. Might not be exact, but it'll be it'll be something like this. In the top left hand corner, click on Site Manager. Go to New Site down here in the corner. You can see my sites I currently use. These are all my FTPs that I use with the ECLAs. We're going to go to New Site. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to name it something important. Don't just leave it as New Site because once you get more than one server, you're going to drive yourself absolutely insane. So click it, give it a meaningful name. Okay, so where it says host, you're going to put in whatever the host was on your FTP page from before. Under username, you're going to put the username including the numbers after it. That is that is your kind of your port. Don't put the anything up in the port up there. The port is part of the username. And then password, whatever you changed your password to, put it in down there. And down below, you see, like, I kind of left myself some comments. This is a Forge server version. Like, you can leave yourself just some, some memo notes right there just in case you get a whole bunch and you don't remember. And you can put your FTP password in down there. I mean, it's stored locally on your computer. Unless you share a computer with a lot of people, it'll be totally fine doing it right there. So now that we have that done, you're going to hit connect. And you're going to see something that looks kind of like this. For the moment, we're done here. Now we have to go get Forge. So head on over to Forge. There's a link down below. Uh, we're going to use 1.12 just to be 1.12.2 just to be consistent with how we've been doing everything else. So, on the left hand side, we're going to click on 1.12 and it's going to bring a drop down. You can click whatever version you need. It's, this, is, this procedure is the exact same. So, we click 1.12 and it brings this up. Say we don't want the latest version because one of our mods doesn't support it. Because sometimes mods don't always update. So, you have to find a version of Forge that all your mods agree to. If for some reason it doesn't, you want to click show all versions. And then you can scroll down you'll see this giant mess of possible installers we're just going to use the default version so scroll up to the top click installer and you're going to see a page that looks like this do not click on anything in what on my screen is a big white space don't click on it it might say you have viruses it might say you owe money to the IR. don't click whatever's there don't click on it it's just a it's just an ad it don't click on whatever it is in the top right hand corner you're going to wait see how it says please wait Eventually it'll say skip. You want to click skip up in the corner and then it'll download. When it's done downloading in the bottom left hand corner, go ahead and click on it and it'll bring up something that looks like this. We want to install server, so we're going to click on that and we are going to click on the three dots and we're going to put it in a directory easier to find. When you put it, click on that, it's going to bring something like this up. Just click on your down arrow at the top or and scroll up to desktop or on the left hand side you can just click on desktop because it's super easy to find stuff on your desktop. And then when we get to our desktop, we're gonna click that new folder button. We're just gonna leave it name new folder because we're gonna delete it here in a minute anyway. So go ahead and click on that and then click open once you're inside the new folder like I am here. And it'll change your directory to this. I have new folder twice because it's a new folder inside a new folder. Go ahead and click okay. And it'll start doing this. It'll start downloading libraries and extracting stuff, which is totally fine. It'll say it's done. It's a really, really quick process. And when it's done, your folder will look something like this, depending on what version you have. Now, we need to go over to our FTP, which we're at the custom Minecraft, right? You're going to double click on that, and it's going to open it, and there's not going to be anything in there. It's going to say empty directory listing. So we're going to drag all three of those files over to the empty directory listing and down below it's going to do something like this you're going to see it all upload give it however long it takes it shouldn't take very long it usually only takes a couple of minutes to upload double check at the very bottom see how there's a failed transfers tab make sure that doesn't have a number next to it if it has a number next to it you need to take that file and transfer it again i recommend just deleting everything select everything delete it all and transfer it again if for some reason it fails it because that means you're missing a file so something's not going to work now, we're going to head back over to the browser window where you have your screen like this open with all your server information on it. In the top left hand corner, we're going to click Game Settings and we're going to scroll down until you get to this section again. Once you get here, you're going to click on the drop down next to Custom Ex Executable and you're going to click the Forge one. Don't click the server one, click the Forge one. 
and click install. It's going to pop up and it's going to stay installation complete almost instantly. It's really quick. You are now ready to start your servers. So now you're going to go to the very top and you're going to click start. And what that's going to do is it's going to start the server. On the top left hand side, you're going to see a console button right here. Go ahead and click on that and it will jump over to the console and it will go through a whole bunch of stuff as it's, you know, because it's the first time it's ever started up. So it's got to do a couple of things. And if your screen looks like this one right here, you're good to go. Congratulations. You have successfully installed Forge with FTP. If you need to know how to install mods, there's a link in the description below and at the end of this video that will walk you through that process on FTP installing mods if for some reason you don't want to use like a mod pack. Or if you don't, if your host maybe doesn't have it as easy as Atlas does, just one click install, this will walk you through how to do that. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I've got. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Click here or here for some of my other videos. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye.